Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 23, the Michael Jordan episode of the Michael Jordan of CRPGs. Let's play Open Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3 with a bunch of mods. That was a mouthful, but I hope you guys are doing well and ready to check this out with me. We are in old Ebonheart. Oh my gosh, and it's amazing. I'm trying to keep from like exploring every single nook and cranny of the city because we would be here for many episodes. And really, I would just like to uh, deliver the letter and kind of be on our way to come back here another day. But um, let's head into the Mages Guild. This is the Mages Guild of Old Ebonheart. We never did read the charter, but uh, we'll get there. Ooh, Mages Guild supply chest. Looky here. Shield, scroll of the falling barrier. Divine intervention, Om CV. Restore willpower. Uh, fortify intelligence would let us make better alchemy um, potions. But it's almost a pound just for that potion, so I think I'm going to pass on that. But, uh, let's start meeting some peeps. Hello. Please feel free to talk at your leisure. Selatara. Good day, apprentice. Are you here for duties? Archibald Vene is the one to see for those, so do be careful. He's often in a bad mood. Um. Do you have a little advice for me? A good strategy is to paralyze your opponent. Cast some kind of touch spell that does damage for a while. Like poison, then retreat to a farther range to cast your targeted long-range spells. Recast paralyze if the creature isn't dead by the time they reach you again. That is pretty interesting. Uh... Blood Curse Fatigue, Damage Fatigue, that's pretty nice. Crushing Burden, oh my gosh, but that takes so much Magicka. And we wouldn't be able to cast it very well. Wow, that's crazy. Daedric Bite, it's that creature. Shock Ball, 40 to 50 points of damage in one. Wow, Drain Intelligence. Great burden of sin. Oh my gosh. Felix Wrath. Tinner's Tinner's Hop Toad. Strong Levitate. Oh, you have Mark and Recall. I should probably grab those. Let's grab Recall, let's grab Mark. Very good, very good. Um, and training in... What is Mark and Recall? Let's uh, check it out. It is Mysticism, which... We have a 0% chance of successfully casting it, but that's because we have no Magicka right now. I believe. Yeah. So, um, quick save. Got those cool spells. And, uh, we have, do you have train mysticism? No. We have a letter to, uh, Birbani Arian. What's that? You're looking for Birbani Arian? She's upstairs on the top floor. Okay. Let's go check out their book selection Spirit of the Daedra. Do you need mysticism. something? Just looking around. <laughs> Hello, Lenio. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Lenio. How can I help you? You're a Breton. We Bretons are natural magicians and born with a high resistance to destructive and dominating spells. Many great sorcerers have come from our home province of High Rock. I have a little advice. If you want to know everything there is to know about being a mage, let me suggest Estirdalin at the Belmore Mages Guild. 
You want to talk to an expert in the trade, patient and well-spoken, someone who likes to talk about the subjects. You don't want a trainer, not unless you expect to pay for the information, and you don't want someone too busy or important to talk to you. Try a Stirdalin. She's smart, friendly, and ready to talk. Right, we have briefly met her. Um, one second, guys. Okay, goodbye. Wow, you have a lot of books. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Poison song. You have no skill books. Wabajack. We already did that, okay. Um, well before we go downstairs. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Top floor. Wow, look how beautiful and eye-catching this room is. Legion smashes soul rest rebels. The Evanhart Bellman. Joyous news from southeastern Black Marsh. As the Imperial Expeditionary Forces has struck a decisive blow against the insurgent Argonian tribes. After strategically eliminating smaller resistance camps, Knight Commander Nira Norne of Dusk finally forced the cat, the elusive rebels, to engage our forces in a pitched battle on favorable terrain. The bulk of the enemy horde was wiped out and remaining pockets of resistance were promptly dealt with. Our Far East Navy played a crucial supporting role by defending the coastal city of Solrest while the expeditionary force was mopping up the last remaining rebels. So I don't feel so bad stealing from uh, the Far East Navy ship that we did. <laughs> Dashing to Shan, Duke displaced. Duke Furios Matamus of the Shan was taken up residence has taken up residence in our city following threats to his life in the ducal seat of Tyr. The noble hails from the Imperial Heartland and is a socialite with a stellar reputation among the Cyrodiilic aristocracy. One can only speculate why his subjects in Deshan are so unwelcoming unwelcoming to him. Perhaps crude elements among the agrarian dreads envy his sophistication. Hello there. A pleasure to meet you. Ah, pleasure to meet you as well. Paravain Naragu. So I think with Imperial names, the E is more decisive. It's not an E. It's not like a Spanish E. It's not Paravaini or Paravena. This would be Paravain, so... What's your background? I'm Paravain Naragu, the new guy. At least I used to be. There are new apprentices arriving here all the time, but so many of them get churned out by Archibald's rigorous testing that I lose track. I've managed to keep my nose clean so far. One day I'll be an Imperial Battle Mage. Just you wait and see. Now, have you seen a horse? This side of the Velothis? Don't think so. Every time so far, either the Ash Storms did them in, or the locals made a meal of them despite the Outlanders. Old Evanhart may look like Cyrodiil, but you're still surrounded by Morrowind here. Do you know a secret? Fortify your strength if you want to carry or heavier loads. Cast Feather if you want to move nimbly carrying lesser loads. And Paravain Naragu. That's me. What can I do for you? Uh, okay. You're the new guy. Well Ooh. met. Oh, well met. Where did I put that? Huh. You have a lot of alcohol laying around. Wow. Expensive alcohol. Bloody scamps. I could skin them all. <laughs> really? I'm El Vildi the Nord, Guild Guide. I provide instantaneous transport between the various mages' guild halls. Uh, what destinations do you cover? I can teleport you instantly from our mages' guild here in Old Devonheart to the Andothran mages' guild, the Almasthere mages' guild, and the Akamora mages' guild. Well, 
And you have a little advice? If you're having trouble with your enchanting, try drinking a potion or casting a spell that fortifies your intelligence. That's pretty cool. You have a secret as well. Everybody can learn a few spells. You don't need to be a wizard to cast spells. It makes life easier. When you learn a spell, practice. It's the only way to learn and it helps to pass the time. And your background? My name is Elvildi, and I provide guild guide services for the mages here in Old Devonheart. I also do some enchanting on the side, though until I get my license, it's all to be considered experimenting. Not many enchanters in the Traveler's League. Still, if you ever need some help with a difficult enchantment, I'd be glad to give you a little advice. A little advice? Okay. Um, what is the Traveler's League? The Traveler's League is an informal association of Mages Guild members trained in the art of sci in the art and science of Saladin transportation magic. Its members maintain and staff Mages Guild teleport networks throughout the Empire and arrange for the training of prospective guild guides at the Arcane University in the Imperial City. While not all guild guides are members of the Traveler's League, the organization acts in the interest of all mages skilled in our critical expertise. I see. Interesting. Ah, greetings. What shall we talk about? I'm Barabas and Clodius, the Imperial Guild Guide. You have destinations? I can teleport. Guild members instantly from our Mages Guild here in Old Demonheart to the Firewatch or Vivek Mages Guild. Oh, Vivek. May nice. You. The Alchemist Formulary. You guys are having some hound meat. Hello. I'm oh, busy reading a book. In the Necrom, our illusion skill goes up one. Nasty. Vampires of Vardenfell, episode one. I mean, book one. Wow, you guys really are stocked well with uh, wines. Can I they trouble you? By now. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Iravasi Bells. How can I help you? Do you have a little advice? Buy a spell of every type that you can find. This will give you the best options later when you're creating your own custom spells. Oh, that is a good, good advice. Whoa. Don't drop your book. Uh, let's go ahead and read The Vampires of Bardenfell. Excerpts, Volume 1. The violent antipathy of Morrowind culture toward necromancy ensures that vampires are virtually unknown in Morrowind. The temple does not acknowledge the existence of Western vampire hunting orders. Nonetheless, interviews with temple officials persuade me that the Dunmer of Morrowind are experienced and knowledgeable in the handling of these menaces. On the other hand, they freely admit that even a large community of vampires might easily escape detection in the remote wastelands or in the subterranean labyrinths of abandoned strongholds and wizard towers. The Ash Vampire of Ashlander legend is not undead. Sorceries and blessings affecting the undead reportedly have no effect on these creatures. No specimen has ever been examined and no references have ever linked these legends with the known clans of Tamrielic vampires. Barnenfell's three known bloodlines differ greatly in their approach to prey. The Quora bloodline features exceptional strength and endurance and attacks in a state of ecstatic frenzy. Ayunde vampires are potent spellcasters seeking to hypnotize victims before feeding, while the swift and agile Bernie clan Vampires prefer stealth and ambush, first poisoning the victim with a bite, then withdrawing to a safe distance, returning to feed only when the prey has weakened. It is supposed that vampirism is contracted from wounds received from a vampire. Since few victims survive vampiric attacks or feedings, the process of contracting the disease is little understood. Some have su suggested that victims may willingly submit themselves to the will of a vampire but no real evidence of this exists. 
During the incubation phase, lasting up to 72 hours, the vampirism disease exhibits no symptoms and may be cured by general spellcraft or cult blessings. However, during incubation, some victims have reported sleep disturbances and troubling dreams. After symptoms are exhibited, however, the disease is incurable and irreversible. So get it cured right away, basically. 86 gold. Okay. So, chatted with you guys. What do we have here? Do you need something? Another sturdy arch door. Storage closet. I wonder if you guys have any enchanted items stored in here. Or is it just food? I'll be inspecting the storage closet. Ten ash yams. Oh, wait a minute. We could use ash yams for, uh... They're heavy, though. Okay, mostly just meat and... Meat and veg. Oh. Okay, there's the top floor. Let's go to the bottom floor. Um. Little dock down here. <coughs> Lock level 50. Ooh, that'd be interesting to pop open. Extravagant robe. Huh. Common gloves. Hello, wow. The Outlander seeks answers. You have blessed shield, wow. Imperial Netch Blade. Damage health 36 for 5 seconds on target. Saber of the Swift Blade, wow. Fortify and frost damage. It's a long blade though. Shield of Light, Provocative Helmet. You have some interesting. Effect items, icicle. Wow, frost damage 1 to 25. Interesting. Look at all this stuff. Bay Falcon 3, conjuration skill went up. What is Bay Falcon 3? You have to read the first two. Songs of Pelinaw. Uh, oh, a golden saint. That's the highest. Uh, the highest you can get. I don't think we've been to introduce traveler. I'm Zisachivia. Is this a Chiva? How can I help you? You're an Argonian. Oh, we've heard that. Wait, no, we haven't. We are the people of the root called Argonians by the warm bloods. We go where we will, wet or dry. And the currents of blood magic run swift in our veins. In our native land, we hunt to live. Masters of the marshes. Hunted and enslaved by soft-skinned enemies, we snare and slay them by stealth, bell, and steel. Little advice. Invest in potions to restore your magicka. In hostile territory, these potions can save you a lot of downtime. Even supposing you can find some safe place to get some rest and regain your magicka, who needs the aggravation? You will enchant, say, my silver short sword. I don't have the money for any sort of enchantment, though. Oh, wow, we can get, like, paralyzed. Area zero, duration. Wow, the price goes way up. Even for, like, a seven second, five second. It is doable, though. At some point. <laughs> That's paralyzed self. Interesting, though. 
but beyond us right now, you have all these magical items. Amulet of Mighty Blows. Fortify Strength. Stormblade, Bone Guard Belt, Summon Skeletal Minion. Sword Wolf Power. Sword Health. Distant Shiva's Buoyancy Ring, Water Breathing Swift Swim. Ooh, I like that. Imperial Netch Blade. Shock Spear, uh, Star Wild, 6 to 14. In 20 feet, it has an area of effect spell. That's like a little bomb. That is pretty nasty. They're worth 30 apiece, though. Do we have anything that we can pawn off? Yes, we do, actually. We have... Well, I want to read the books. We have the sextant. Oh, nice. Spyglass. The compass. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me try using these items. I don't know if we can actually use them. No, the compass doesn't work. No, there's actually no compass or anything. Compass, the sextant, and the spyglass. 243. And I guess that would be it for now. <laughs> uh, Demon Tonto. Let's see, do we want any... Gucci. Do we want anything though? Maybe that buoyancy ring? Uh, we have some rings already though. Fortify athletics, restore fatigue. Ring of silence for five seconds. I guess we could then. Um, come on, two fifty six. Uh, yeah, Mercantile increased to thirty eight. Nasty. She just has some cool items. So, oh, I want to come back here. Oh, we don't have any Magicka. Might be seen. <laughs> but no Magicka means I can just use a scroll of Odysseus unhinging. There we go. Four gold in a bowl. She would do if she sees me wearing it though. Put it on out here. Warning. And I'm Maniel's diamond. Warning, do not touch this diamond. I was in the middle of enchanting it when I accidentally dropped it and it rolled over here. There's no telling what horrible creature would be summoned from the pits of oblivion if someone moved it. You have been warned, your death won't be on my conscience, Maniel. Really? Hello, Mania. Ah, conjuration skill. Ah, friend. How does the day greet you? Hello, the day greets me well. How are you? Your outfit is quite impressive, Alzarian. Can I help you? What is your story? 
I am Maniel's Sobenity, Enchanter and Conjurer of the Mages Guild. You're also a Breton. We Bretons are natural magicians born with a high resistance to destructive and dominating spells. Many great sorcerers have come from our home province of High Rock. You have a little secret? If you want my advice, rookie, I've been around. I've risen to conjurer rank in the guild by being smart and careful. And if I were you, I'd stay away from Daedric Ruins until you have a little more experience. And I have to get kit bag. Seen a horse? A horse and Morrowind, don't be silly. The weather does do them well, and the natives think them good eating. No wise Breton would risk their horse flesh by bringing one here. Um, you're a trainer. Mysticism. Boom. Increase to seven. You have spells as well. Deadly poison. Bound gauntlets. Absorb luck and willpower. Those are cool. Dire weakness. Summon lesser clan fear. Scamp. Mortify magicka. Sleep. Wow, that would put them to sleep. That's a strong drain of fatigue. It continues every second, doing 5 to 15. Soul Trap Summon Dramora. Toxic Cloud. Wow. Uh, that one Summon Scamp. Oh, this is Lesser Summon Scamp. Lesser Summon Clan Fair. Um... Conjuration. We couldn't possibly cast that right now. I don't think we have the ability. Another point of mysticism. Close to leveling. We're 7 out of 10. With not many times 5s or anything, but that's okay. I don't really play that way to maximize those. Um, our conjuration is a 12. Which is not super terrible, but it is pretty low. We'll get a point of it. And, uh, barter. Crossfall, paper. Dispel, scroll of black death, corrupt organics. Dagon Source, summon Jamora. Huh, you have soul gems. Candles for rituals. Okay, can I sell you anything? How about this? Oh, I probably want to keep the extravagant robe. Yeah. Uh, very good, very good. A little advice. Use illusion spells like invisibility to scout an area before you go on the offensive. Often a cunning spellcaster can simply avoid opponents and obstacles, move right to the objective, and leave without taking a scratch. Background. I am Maniel Simonetti, enchanter and conjurer of the Mages Guild. Conjurer? I'm an enchanter. I create skulls which only work once and enchanted items which work over and over again. Alrighty. Uh... Huh. So wait, if I'm back here, this would be a good telekinesis spot. Um, actually, can I sleep in his bed, I wonder? No, it's red. But I'm sure I could get a bed down here to sleep in. <laughs> Just doing some alchemy. Oh. Do you need something? Yes, I need a bed, but block level sixty. Oh, 
Oh, wow. What can I do for you, friend? You have everything, Master's Retort. Song of the Alchemist, Alchemy skill went up. Chest lock 50. The Alchemist Guide to Skuma, that's pretty interesting. I'd like to read that. Mushrooms, alchemical ingredients, moonwalk wings. Okay, I can't sleep in your bed. It's a double, though. What can I do for you, friend? Darn. Didn't work. Black level 60. I would be curious of what's back here. We only have one unhinging uh, scroll left, though. Shall we use it? Dang, did not work. However, if we use a plane restore magicka. And look for telekinesis. Get a nice expensive book. Oh, we can even go in the barrel. Grab the grief. Grab the sujama. Nasty. Now we're overloaded, but... We have feather potion. One feather potion that we just bought. But we're gonna have to kind of plan our getaway because Oh, let me see let me see what happens if I take Maniel's diamond, shall we? Well let's, let's see how long we've been playing. Thirty three thirty two minutes, okay. Um let's quick save and Oh <laughs> Scrib. That's hilarious. We get a diamond out of it. Okay. Scrib is on its way. Uh, <laughs> we have some books to read. Let's, uh, if we use the feather potion, where do we want to go? Who can we sell this stuff to immediately? The heavier stuff like the Sujama. Okay, we can go to. Wait a minute. Let's use a feather. Hurry, 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 hurry. The Outlander seeks answers? Sort of, yes. Oh, you're the enchanter. You're not going to buy this stuff. Ah! I went to the wrong person. Um. How many more seconds? 12 more seconds? I don't quite know where to go. Wow, open lock 100. Lord Mahan's vengeance. Found an entire set with a battle axe and shield. Summon Frost Saturnok. I may grab that E Cash's lock splitter. We only have 293 gold, though. Okay, um... Do you have some more, Windlore? The Ashlanders worship their ancestors. Ashlander tribes are led by their Ashkan war chiefs and guided by the wisdom and prophecies of their wise women. Okay, thank you very much. I you trade? I have a moment. No. What is it? Who trades? Who trades? Who trades? You trade? No. 
We have four seconds left. Quite intriguing. Please share your thoughts. Uh. Well, I mean, we're in we're in the company of friends. We can put down our silver short sword right there and walk freely. I didn't really consider that. Greetings, Altmer. How You're the new I guy. Help? These peeps don't barter. Oh, where was that? Nice expensive glass bottle. Let's head to the top floor, I guess. Ah, oh. greetings. What shall we talk about? Valkyria Crex. Train? My services are reserved as a privilege of higher rank, Elzarian. But serve well with advancement. Your turn will come. Do you have a secret? How do you recognize a Daedric Shrine? Well, they've got long, funny names. Like Asher Nabibi. Or Zane Terraris. Some are well-known sites like Altsatha and Balfell. And stone and architecture is unmistakable. Big, dark, gray-red stone ruins. Funny angles. Funny markings and patterns on the stone. Weird oval crooked doors, and inside all funny angles. Huh. Wow, you have a lot of books. Possibly some that give skill points. The first holder of all, yep, mysticism, perfect. On Elemental Daedra, there's a spell to be learned from this book, but you cannot decipher it. Interesting. Waters of Oblivion. Insight, Tranquility, Divinity. Wow. Ooh. Restoration. We are about to level up again, guys. Just by... peeking at knowledge books, kind of. Ah, it's you. Nice pauldrons, I must say. They fit you. Um, oh. Various chests. Lock level 80. Wow. Before I give you this... Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. I don't think we've been introduced, traveler. I'm Brabani Arian. How can I help you? Uh, we have a letter for you. You say you have a letter for me from Majira? Let me see it. Rabani reads the letter. Oh, this is great news, Elzarian. Ajira has been trying to get that promotion for a while. I'm glad to hear she's finally made it. Thank you for bringing me her letter. Here, take these potions for your trouble. Two standard restore health potions, potion of cure common disease. Okay, and we're over encumbered. Um... Huh. Let's put down, uh... Our mortar and pestle for a moment. Now let's put down a book on Culture. No, I don't want to put down anything stolen, just in case. They question it. Let's put that right there. So we have two things on the ground. And more down this way. Love egg. Oh, roll paper, inkwell. Black rose. Wow. I think that tavern girl was looking at me. How can I tell her I'm not interested? <laughs> Guide to Telvani Construction. Silver Dagger. Wow. 
Wow, pallet book two and chant. Pallet book one, illusion, and we have left leveled up. Wow. So many good books to read, guys. We'll get to that in future episodes for show. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? Final lesson. Chant skill, wow. Extravagant robe. Extravagant left glove. Quality rising force. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, it's our ledge there. There is something up there. Interesting. Hello, Archibald Venny. Good day, apprentice. Are you here for duties? Advancement? Do you want to hear more about the old Ebonard Mages Guild? Uh, what's your background? Archibald Venny is my name, yes, but please just call me Archibald. I am the ranking guildmaster here at the old Ebonheart Mages Guild. It is a prestigious title, but I'm thinking of retiring soon, truth be told. I'd like more time to work on my own projects, instead of untangling the royal muck-ups of the apprentices around here. Sounds like a Ken Rolston <laughs> implant, which would be awesome. Love, Ken. Shout out to Ken Rolston. Uh, you have duties, no kidding. Wow. Before I get into all that, I do want to trim down this inventory, but I don't know how. I don't know if we could do it here. I can't go sell him his own books and stuff, so this stuff is going to have to wait until I potentially come back and head back out to Old Debonheart. So we need, like... Well, no, I don't want to sell the books. I want to sell the... Oh, right. The Sujama, the Monsty, the Robe. Uh, Mother Alessia, no. The Fetcher's Pawn. This is probably a pawn shop. Uh, let's see how long we've played, though. This game is so... On guys, I'm having an absolute blast. We're gonna wrap it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. There's uh, either Moss or Secunda. I don't know where the other moon is. But if it wasn't for you guys, well, it wouldn't be as fun doing with doing this stuff. So, really appreciate y'all. Stay tuned if you'd like. Much more to come. Please smash that like button. It helps my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to do any of those or none of them or whatever you feel. As always, guys, be well, live well, stay well. Until next time, we will continue exploring Old Ebonheart. We'll sell this stuff and then we'll go maybe get some duties from the Mages Guild while we're here. So much fascinating stuff. And uh, I hope to see you guys then. Much more fun to be had. Come on back with me. And, uh, Let's go, guys. Loving it. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Much love, peace, and joy. Did I say that? <laughs> I mean it. Peace, guys.